Hallo! So, today I'm in my vault, my forest, that is, uh, well, it's surrounds. I live in a farmer village, it's a bunch of farmhouses put together to make a village. So, a bunch of farmyards together to make a village. Half the village is surrounded by this forest, and it goes all the way between our village and to the Elbe. And then the other half is surrounded by farmland. So, I thought I'd make a video talking about the mind because people really do not understand the mind. People think it is the intellect. They think it is the brain. It is not. Your intellect, which is what you use when you are reading books, when you are studying in university and these things. That, when you do mathematics, that is the intellect. When you're reading, you, that is the intellect. That is in your brain. The mind is something else. The mind is what controls your actions. And then after you do your actions, the brain, the intellect, records them. And then you have the experience that you made the decision with your brain. So, a long time ago they did experiments where they would uh, hook up, you know, electronic meters or whatever the fuck they're called to the brain temple spots in different areas of the head and they'd measure brain activity. They would tell someone to pick up a pencil. The person would pick up the pencil and the brain did not register that the person picked up the pencil until after they already began to pick up the pencil. So that is proof that, that is scientific intellectual proof that the mind makes the choice and the brain is simply something that records afterwards the choice you have made. But to us, in this new world, we have lost our connection with the mind, and we think that the intellect, the brain, is the mind, because this is what we learned after Christianity. But it is not correct. And uh, so basically, you are making all your decisions with your unconscious mind. That is controlling everything you do, which is why we do ritual, meditation, energy work, to make, as Carl Jung said, to make the unconscious conscious. Now, obviously, this will not normally happen the first time. You'll have to do this for months, if not years, before you can finally do this, make the unconscious conscious, which is why our pagan ancestors always did ritual every day always did energy work and meditation every day and just so you know energy work and meditation are very similar it is uh energy work is like meditation uh with vitamins or something like a hardcore type of meditation because energy work you normally feel it not always but normally after a while at least you begin to feel the energy Whereas meditation, you can sit there for hours and hours meditating and all you'll do is have many thoughts come to your mind. And this is perfectly normal because meditation is the result after. So after you are done sitting there meditating for an hour or something, the feeling you get after, that is what a meditation is. It is not when you're sitting there and having all these thoughts, you know, the idea that, oh, you sit there and you clear your mind. That's bullshit. That's not meditation. All these fucking Middle Easterners and shit who teach that, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Meditation is sitting there and whatever comes to your mind, allow it to come to your mind. Or, well, I guess we would call it your brain. <laughs> but whatever pops in what you're thinking of, that is, you know, that's meant to happen and you're meant to experience it. Whether it's good or bad, no matter what it is, experience it and allow it to come. And then when you are done, and you stand up and you go walk around and go carry on with your day, that is the result, how you feel afterwards. You will normally feel good and happy or, you know, whatever you feel, you feel, and you're feeling it because you're meant to feel it. That is the result of meditation, and that is what meditation means, to get to the result to go carry on about your daily life after you have sat there. So, basically, 
what I'm saying is you your mind controls everything not your brain your brain is like a computer a memory card that records it after your mind has created it but we have as I say before the experience that it is the brain that is telling us to do these things but it is not it is the mind and what does the mind do it reflects the soul it is the moon reflects the Sun so the best time to do a ritual to the moon is actually not on the day of the full moon it is the day before the full moon when it is waxing okay so the day before the full moon you want to begin your ritual and it is ideally you begin your ritual and continue doing rituals until the evening of the full moon that's the best way but if you have a choice to do it the day of the full moon or sorry the evening of the full moon or the evening before the full moon it is better to do it before because when it is before the full moon it is waxing it is becoming bigger it is the energy is tra expanding but as soon as the full moon is full immediately the energy is now getting smaller it is waning so this is why it is better to do it before the full moon the day before or the night before rather than at the full moon and after the full moon because then the energy is already starting to decline so that is a little bit about why our pagan ancestors did ritual to the mind the moon before and not after and also remember man means moon it means mankind it does not mean male that happened after uh, Christianity it became the word for male but originally man meant male and female the name in the pagan days for man was ver as in ver wolf man wolf and the name for woman was weef so you know like a wife but it didn't mean that you were married it just meant you were a female but that all changed after Christianity. So I thought I'd say these things and also, uh, yeah, just basically so you understand a bit more about the mind. I know it's very confusing for people who did not, you know, grow up with this in our modern world, but I thought I'd share a bit about the moon and the mind and what it is and how your brain is not the mind your brain is the intellect doing math you know studying things that is that and that is not paganism paganism is experiencing doing meditation doing energy work doing ritual the Christians are an intellectual religion you when you're a Christian you go to the church and you listen to somebody preach at you and read a book and tell you how this is right because the book says in Jesus and God say this and this and that that is intellectual work that is Christianity thinking with the intellect reading books talking about things thinking about things that is Christianity the intellect paganism we went to the forest in nature we had real experience and we did ritual and we did energy work and we did meditation we did not go to the forest and talk about the gods we went to the forest and we experienced the gods. Tus.